a portfolio? Yeah. yeah. On a QR code? Yeah. yeah. And then what's today? May 4th. May 4th? May the 4th be with you. Nice work. May the 4th be with everybody. May the 4th be with you. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Please go enjoy the rest of your evening. Please go check out our other exhibits. Thank you so much for coming out. We hope to see our end of the year concert. Thank you. Hello, Meadowbrook Mustangs. I'm AJ, your ASB treasurer, and this is the Late Night Talk with your ASB Executive Council. I am here with your ASB President Bella and your ASB Vice President Sam. This is for all our 8th graders, our P 8th graders and 8th graders only. Now Sam, please tell me, what are we doing for our 8th graders? On June 3rd from 5.30 to 7.30. Sorry guys, the dance starts at 7 and ends at 9. We're going to be having an 8th grade promotion dance in the quad. Yeah! Promotion dance. That is right. Now, please, Bella, tell me, um, how much are we selling the tickets for um, the promotion dance? Okay, so the tickets will be sold every Wednesday up to the dance for $40 on stage. So that means, like, tomorrow you can go bring your money and purchase it on the stage. And you said $40? $40. $40 for one ticket for three Wednesdays, the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th. Remember, June 3rd, the dance. We're going to have a great time. Now, this video is sponsored by Martin Ellie's. This is Apple Cider. It, it's not going to spill over. It, this is the late night show. That means we don't make mistakes over here. <laughs> Shall we do a toast? Yep. To all our 8th graders. See you at the promotion, guys. Yeah. Can't wait. Cheers! That's the theme for this year's 8th grade promotion party. The 8th grade promotion party is going to be the night of June 3rd. At the party, you can even hang out with your friends and maybe walk the red carpet. Make sure to be there. Bye, Meadowbrook. <laughs> hey, Meadowbrook. It's me, Evie, with my assistant, Buff Ashna. Since when did I become the assistant? Um, since today. Anyways, today we are doing, what are they called again? We are doing plank ups. Let's get started. Oh, my knees hurt. This week's exercise is pike ups. To make it a bit more interesting, I'll be doing it with my assistant. You mean friend. First, find a small lightweight object, like this bag that we're using. Lie down as your friend. assistant. Hold the object above your face, level with their chest. Do a pike up and grab the object between your feet. Go down and do the pike up again. This time, giving the object to your assistant. Friend. No, it's assistant. Friend. Assistant. That's one pike up. Repeat until you do five to ten. This exercise strengthens your thighs and your core muscles. And there you have it. And that was the exercise of the week, Meadowbrook. Bye. Welcome to the game show. Who is smart? Country edition. Here are our contestants, Elias, Hello. Gavin, and Alex. Hi. And uh, yeah, whoever wins gets to choose a pride card. The first question. Besides Russia, what country was in the Warsaw Pact? No, yeah, no, it's Germany. No, Poland, no, Poland. Yes, I got it wrong. Poland. Oh, yay! <laughs> what country is most mean? <laughs> what country eats most meat? America? <laughs> yes. Besides Germany and Japan, what country was also in the Axis of power in World War II? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Italy, Italy. It's Italy. It's Italy, Italy. It's Italy. All right, so coincidentally, all of our contestants won. So they're all going to pick a pride card, and we start with Gavin. 
Okay. All right, Elias. Oh my God. Yep, I'm just. I don't care if I bend them. This is. Yep, random. Oh. Look. Pick up right guard, please. Cause he won. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> As you guys know, those who were not selected for the pride card drawing will be placed into the pizza with friends drawing for another chance to earn something. This will fit. Yeah. Hey Mustang, it's your ASB here. This year has been so much fun and we're nearing the end of our school year. There are 22 days left in the school year and the Mustang Market will only be open on Friday. We are no longer buying more items to restock the Mustang Market, so be sure to stop by while supplies last. And on the last day of the Mustang Market being open, we will have a special sale where everything is up for $1. Bye, Bye Mustangs! Mustangs. question about Mustang Leader. Let's hear it. Um, how do I sign up and become a member of the Mustang Leader team? Well, being a part of the Mustang Leader team is a huge responsibility, but if you think you're ready for the task, on May 17th through May 19th, they're going to be holding signups right over there on the stage. So on those days, you can go and sign up and do your best. Cool. Can't wait to sign up. See you there. Remember to sign up for Mustang Leaders on May 17th through May 19th here on the stage. See you later, Meadowbrook. What's up, Meadowbrook? I'm here with... AJ. And so, AJ, who are you and what do you do? Hi, my name is AJ De La Cruz. If you guys don't know, I'm your ASB treasure, you know. Um, I'm an inspire, aspiring musician and also shout out to Dan Wilkins. Um, rest in peace. Get this started. AJ, what is the most important thing to you? Um, definitely my mother, you know, um, just because she's the person who raised me. She's just my mother, you know. Love your mother. Mother. Oh. Same with the next one. Okay. What's your favorite subject and why? Um, definitely social studies. Shout um, out to Mr. Bass. Shout out to Mr. Bass. Um, it's just because I love learning about history, you know, learning about Julius Caesar, killing people, William Shakespeare, writing about Julius Caesar, you know, For just real. the real basics. Shout out to Mr. Jones, too. Can't forget that. Love Mr. Jones. Love Mr. Jones. Mr. Kelly. Not him. What are you looking forward to for the rest of the year? Um, definitely the biggest thing before summer is definitely um, promotion dance, you know what there. I'm saying? June 3rd, buy your tickets every single Wednesday coming after this. Um, it's going to be really great. Right, Gavin? I'll be there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. All right, last question. Keep going. Most important, pineapple on pizza. No! No, sir! No, 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 sir! No, no, sir! No, sir! I see a Meadowbrook. Hey, Meadowbrook, this is Shannon. Recently, there's been an art contest called Reflections. This yearly contest gives the kids the opportunity to express themselves with different art mediums with a given theme. There are kids at our school who participated and received awards, so today we're going to be interviewing them about their pieces. Let's go! Hi, I'm Evelyn and I'm in 7th grade. Hi, my name is Mia and I'm in 6th grade. So, what are the reflections? So, the reflections are this yearly art program that the district does. Reflections is an art program that lets you share like what you've made in like friendly competition. And you can respond to a theme in I think five different categories. What's the theme of uh, this year's reflection? It's how you will change the world. How you can change the world. So what is your piece called and what is it about? So my piece is just called like how I will change the world. And it had something to do about speaking up and using your voice. So why did you choose to talk about this piece? Uh, I just think it's an important topic that people should... Mine was Lost and Never Found, and it's about, like, how 
America was viewed, but how it actually is and kind of what we need to do to change it. I chose to talk about my piece because my grandma was describing to me like the struggles she went through because she's black. And I just thought about like the struggles we go through today with LGBTQ and gender crises and color and all that. And I just kind of decided that it would be good to like let other people know how I felt and like what we really actually should be doing. So did you like expressing yourself while doing this piece? Uh, yeah, it was fun writing it. Yeah, it was good to get out some of the thoughts that I've been like thinking about a lot and like, you know, really that's been going on. So it's good really to like kind of share it with somebody else. And that was the winners of the Reflection Participants. Thank you everyone who participated. And I hope to see more people participate in this great contest next year. Bye, Meadowbrook! Please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin! Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.